Hey guys, Constance here. So I'm getting ready to get dinner started. Well, I'm kind of ready to get dinner started here. Tonight I am making German Rouladen. And if you don't know what that is, the word Rouladen simply means a roll. And so basically it is thin layers of beef that have bacon and um, onion and mustard. Sometimes there's pickle, depending on if you want to do it that way or not and you salt and pepper it and you roll it all up into this roll then you brown it in a little bit of oil and then you let it all simmer in some broth until it's just melt in your mouth tender it takes a few minutes to put the rolls together but it's very easy to make it's one of those recipes that i have made so many times over the years that i don't even have to look at the recipe anymore because it is very, very simple. There's not a lot of measuring that goes into this um, at all. So I have made this on camera once or twice in the past, but I thought I would walk you through the process and you can see how this is made. And you definitely want to give this a try because it is, it is so good. So here I have a stack of round steaks that are nice and thin. I've got an onion that I'm going to slice up here. I have some slices of bacon. Then here I have some salt, some pepper, and some mustard. And I put these in their own dishes because if you're working with raw meat, you don't want to be putting a knife in and out of the jar. And you don't want to be putting your fingers in salt or handling your pepper grinder. So I just have a little dish of each of those so I can just uh, work with it this way. All right, so I'm gonna take my bacon and I'm gonna slice it in half. Set those aside. Set them over here out of the way. And I'm going to slice my onion. And I don't know if I'll need this whole onion right now, so I will only slice up half of it for the time being. And then if I need more, I can always slice up the other half. I'm gonna set these over here in my little dish that I have. Alrighty. And that is all I need my knife for right now, so I'm gonna go wash it real quick. Alright, so now I'm going to take one of these rolls of brown steak and I'm going to sprinkle it with a pinch of salt and pepper. Then I'm going to take my mustard and this is a grainy Dijon mustard. It's uh, This particular one is Grey Poupon and it's the country style one, but really any kind of grainy mustard will do. And I'm just going to kind of smear some on there, about two inches on the end of the meat. Then I'm going to grab a slice of bacon, lay it across here, take a few pieces of onion, stick them there as well, and now I'm just going to roll it up. And like I said, if you want, you can actually put some pickle in here. Uh, that's kind of an optional thing. I'm going to take a toothpick, break it in half, and I'm just going to stick it in there to hold it in place, just like that. And then I'm going to do that with the rest of them. Alrighty. So the rolls are all ready, and so now I'm going to begin browning them. First thing I need is some oil. Now you can actually use butter if you want, 
Uh, I'm using avocado oil and I'm going to let this get a little bit warm. And these will probably get cooked in batches because you don't want to put too many in at a time. You want the meat to brown on the outside and if you crowd them, what happens is the juices release into the pan and then the meat starts simmering in liquid instead of browning. And so you want to work in batches. The rouladen is all browned. It doesn't have to be super brown all the way around, just giving it a little bit of color. And because the browning is done, I went ahead and arranged all of them in the pan. And now I'm just gonna add some beef broth, bring it to a boil, lower it to a simmer, cover, and let it do its thing. His daddy home. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You can get a free printable version of this recipe, as well as hundreds of others, on my blog, cosmopolitancornbread.com. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. And until next time, love and blessings.